tequila sunrise. Orange juice, tequila, and grenadine. Had one in Minder Binders for the first time in Phoenix, Arizona. Minder Binders. I wonder if that's still in business. I think it was about 1972. Did a lot. I did a lot between 70 and 76, but I think I did a whole lot between, actually between 73 and 74. It was just, I lived a lifetime in just like two or three years from when I, I mean, did everything. Across the country several times. Canada, I think I went to, yeah, Canada, Florida, uh, Mexico, just amazing shit in such a short period you know they say time flies when you're having fun nope opposite time slows down when you're having fun there's a million things can happen in a day uh, anyway and I believe those days are coming back actually fake sun is not up yet just watching uh, the old Godzilla movie with Matthew Broderick <laughs> I was uh, managing a little used car lot in Hollywood back about 84-ish, and we had these chain rails around the thing, and I was doing something, and I walked out and bent down and went under the chain rail and raised up face-to-face -face with Matthew Broderick. <laughs> he, he was walking with some girl, and uh, it was in a very Jewish neighborhood, you know, where they had the long things down the sides of their sideburns and all that and the hats and the whole nine yards so either he's jewish or he was dating a jewish girl or they both were i don't know anyway face to face he looked at me i looked at him he didn't say a word i, I went don't i i said i think i said don't i know you and then before he said a word he just smiled i, I went oh that's right movies and stuff and i just kind of waved at him and gave him a thumbs up or whatever <laughs> I, he didn't ever say a word and then I just went back doing what I was doing. Oh, that was interesting. Anyway, when I sold cars there in Santa Monica, California, saw uh, Richard Simmons, I saw, uh, talked to Richard Simmons, and talked to Henry Fonda, uh, saw, uh, it's Charlie Sheen, Martin Sheen. He's driving a Mustang. Uh, saw another guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, who else? Uh, what was that uh, Indian guy that d did all the Death Wish stuff? Me not Indian, but Mexican. Can't think of his name. He was buying them Ford truck. A lot of them like those. Uh, Broncos, big Broncos, and Mustangs. Uh, some girl, actress came in there, bought a little truck off of me. I can't remember her name. And she was like murdered a little bit after that by some idiot stalker. Or she faked her death, I don't know. I can't remember her name. I want to say Teresa, but went to rent a house one time, and the guy says, 
Yeah, there's some band looking at this house. Maybe you've heard of them. I don't know. They're called Yes, I think. We're like, oh, shit. Yes was going to rent a house in the Hollywood Hills and apparently rehearse there. That was interesting. <sighs> anyway. Watching that Godzilla movie, the, the politician, the mayor of New York guy. God, I can't even watch politicians. Anything with a politician in it, or Washington, D.C., in the movies, it just, I'm almost nauseated. I mean, those fuckers gotta go. They gotta go. And, uh, Kelly, you want a piece of cheese? Kelly! Uh, they say we're going to get rid of 90% of the government, which is yay. And then we're going to go to a council. It'll be a one-world government, basically, but it'll be run for you instead of against you. And, uh... What's that dog barking? What's that dog barking? Now, speaking of Godzilla, when I came up out of the woods... I think it sounded like a donkey. Yeah, like that. Come up out of the woods over there. That's a weird sound. <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla is in Taylor, South Carolina. There's a med bed underground here in, Taylor, in South Carolina. I don't know where about, but somewhere. I hope I can get my wife to it. You and me. I think the med beds, you get healed first. And I don't know if they're going to allow you to be young. You get healed. They want everybody healed, apparently. And then you go back to be made young later. Once everybody's kind of hip to the idea that E.T. is real and technology is real. And, you know, just think of your 27 to 30-year-old children coming home and mom and dad's younger than they are. Yeah. Trick with it. But maybe if you got the believing level for it, you can be healed and be made young at the same time. Which I think me and my wife would qualify for that. And I think our kids could handle it. So, anyway, med beds are real and they are coming. Nassara is real and it is coming. Debts will be paid and you'll have. Money will be no object for the rest of your life. And, with that said, I believe you're going to be able to live hundreds of years. I think you can exit if you want. Anytime you want. If you want to keep on. I don't know, I just have a little scenario. A lot of people say that we're in the thousand year thing. I, I don't know. I know we're in the take over the planet turn it into heaven on earth that much i know but i'm still hanging on to the jesus coming back thing and the jewish calendar says we had about 213 years so maybe we'll live 213 years and then we'll go into our etheric bodies that we're supposed to have in the millennium cali 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 okay be that way. Be that way. No more cheese for you. Anyway, it's all happening. It's never happened before. And you're watching it.